Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and today I would like to share with you my experiences on using a heat press for my heat transfer vinyl versus an iron. A heat press is really a very, very large, flat, heavy iron. It's designed for pressing, not ironing, and it's designed to press on our heat transfers. When we look at the dials on the top, it is definitely not an iron. We do not have a steam setting, and we have to have the setting to the temperature that we want. So we do have an on-off button, a temperature button, a timer. Then when we come over here, we have positive and negatives, which that is going to help set how high the temperature is going to go and how long this timer is going to go for. And then we have a start button and that start is going to help that timer count down. The temperature that we want will depend on the heat transfer vinyl that we are using because they vary in different temperatures. And that's what makes something like this a lot easier to use than a household iron. A household iron, we do not know the temperature of. We just know that it's made for cotton, synthetics, or wool. Where the heat transfer vinyl really does require a proper temperature. So this really is taking the guesswork out of the temperature from a regular iron. As soon as we have turned this button on, the machine is going to start heating to the temperature that we've had this set at. Now we can change that setting by pushing this heat button. We're going to push that and then we can add or subtract to the temperature that we need. From there, we're going to be able to choose how long the timer is going to be set for. Same idea, we're going to push that timer and this time we have this little area here. We can add time, subtract time, until we get to the time that we want. The heat transfer vinyl that I'm going to be using will need a setting at anywhere between 315 degrees to 320. The next thing I want to do is set a timer and I want this to be on that fabric for anywhere between 10 to 15 seconds. So I'm going to just count up to 15. That's all we're going to need to do to set this. Once again, there are no steam holes, so we don't have to worry about moving this back and forth. This is not designed to be an iron. It's designed to press. That's where that number six is. So the first thing we need to do is heat the area and make sure that the area is free of wrinkles, dirt, grease, anything like that. And once it's warmed up, I then will put on my transfer. And just smooth it down a little bit with your hands. From here, I'm going to be able to use the heat press. Now, if you are using a fabric that cannot withstand heat, we will be able to use a Teflon sheet. So you're just going to put that Teflon sheet over top and press. The press is ready to go, so I can just place it over top and start my timing button. I do have these little side handles that I can push down and heat that up. Once that timer goes off, it's done and we get to lift. You can see the difference in that color. So I do want to finish that, so I'm going to repeat the same thing. The fabric that you're going to use will determine how long we are going to press that down for and how much pressure we need. And then we can start to peel off that plastic. It's going to peel off easily and we should not have any of that vinyl sticking onto this plastic. I take my time and I slowly peel that off. And that's all there is to putting on a heat transfer. With an iron, we would have had to move it, hold it, move it, hold it, move it, hold it. This moving back and forth can cause our designs to shift 
and sort of overlap and sort of get this wrinkled look which is what we don't want. Using the vinyl to craft with is a lot of fun. It can turn regular things into works of art and it can make them one of a kind. They're a lot of fun to do and the whole key is making sure that we have the right temperature so that vinyl is permanent. And having something that tells us the temperature so that we know the temperature definitely takes the guesswork out of it so we're assured a good result. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and I do have a newsletter all under So Very Easy. I have my bag done. I could put my heat press away. I do hope that clears up some heating issues. Bye for now.